Ryan's former friend, Christopher McCann, for medical bills. Ryan claims Christopher's son, Zach, knocked out his teeth with a bottle. Mrs. Bryson, it is your claim that this young man caused injury to your son's tooth. That's correct. They were playing a game. His father says it was an accident. They were both fooling around, and accidents happened. So since neither you nor Mr. McCain were there, you can both sit down. What's your first name? Brian. And yours? Zach. How long have you been friends? About two or three months. When did this accident happen? December 20th. What were you doing? We were sliding this uh, replica of this plastic bottle back and forth on the ground after school. Sliding it? Yeah, sliding. Where were you? By my locker, which is that is like in the third wing of the school. I want you to show me how you were sliding it. We were sliding it back and forth. No, show me on the ground how you were sliding it. You can step right in front of the bench. Step in front of the bench over there. Show me how you were sliding it. We were both sitting down and we were sliding. Sitting down on what? On the carpet. Sit down. Go ahead. So you're sliding it. Let me see how you're sliding it. It's like that. Right. And what were you doing with it, Zach? Throwing it back. Was he sliding it or throwing it? We were playing catch. We were throwing it back and forth. That's not too young. Sure it is. Now you can stand up. Go ahead, Ryan. Well, I was, we were sliding it back and forth, and then all of a sudden he threw it and, and knocked out my teeth. And I don't know why he did that. I did not do anything to provoke him or anything. I never once picked it up and thrown it at him. We were sliding it back and forth. Go ahead. We were not sliding it on the ground. We were sort of playing catch, and it was an accident. It was just one catch that he did not catch, and it hit How it. many times was the bottle thrown? Probably 15 to 20 times. Anybody else there? No. no. It was pretty late after school. It was pretty much cleared out. After it was thrown, you had pain? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Do you think, Zach, that part of the injury to his teeth is your fault? No, I do not. Well, you're wrong. I do not think that it was my fault. We were both playing the game, and we both right. were, like, accepted the probability of it happening. And... No, that's a lot of baloney that your father gave you. <laughs> if you take an instrumentality and use it in a way other than for which it was designed, do you understand what that means? Yes. And there's an accident with it, you are at least partially responsible. Now, if you were drinking that and he ran into the bottle, then he caused that himself because you were using it in a way that it was designed to be used because you were drinking it. Mm -hmm. But you weren't using it that way. You were playing catch with it. Yes, ma'am. And if you're playing catch with something that's dangerous, clearly it could be dangerous, right? Yes. Then you have to use care, right? Yes. Now, I'm not saying that it's all your fault because he chose to play with you. And if you think that for a minute that I believe that you were rolling this, you're nuts. Because I know you weren't rolling it, and you know you weren't rolling it. You may have rolled it once or twice, but you were playing catch with it also, right? No. That's not yeah, right. I don't believe you, Ryan. I don't believe you. I don't believe that the first time this was thrown, it hit you in the mouth. And I certainly don't believe that Zach intended to hurt you. You think he intended to hurt you? Yes, Your Honor, I do. Because he had, it had to be thrown at a great, great force to knock out my teeth. Well, then there's something wrong with you. I don't know who you've been talking to. I know who he's been talking to. I don't know who you've been talking to. Um, if you were sitting and playing with him outside, why in the world would he pick up that and throw it with such force at your face to hurt you? Did you, had you had a fight with him? No. Well, then why did you think he had a psychotic moment? <laughs> no, Your Honor, you're not. So why would you think he would want to hurt you? Because it has to be thrown at a great force and knock out my teeth. No. I... No. Just caught you in the wrong position? Listen, if you played with something and you played with it in a way that it was not intended, then you assume part of the risk. But he's only partially responsible. And his father's partially responsible because he's too little, despite what your father says. Do you understand why? Yes. Do you understand the whole context? What about you, sir? You now understand? Uh, I don't know. I'm having troubles with that. Well, stand up. I'll give you a lesson. <laughs> what do you use to cut steak? Knife. Steak knife. And when you use it properly to cut steak, nothing bad happens to you, right? Right. If you decide to play saluji with a steak knife, they you still use that word? I have no idea what you're talking about. Throwing it. <laughs> If you decide to throw a steak knife back and forth to your friend and you get all cut up, whose fault is that? I don't know. That's kind of... Isn't that on both of them? I mean, it's... Right! That's what you said, a very good thing. You want to say it a little louder? On both of them? <laughs> that's the answer. Because you are using 
the knife for an activity for which it was not designed. It was not designed to be used as a baseball or a rubber ball. It was designed to be used to cut your meat. Similarly, that bottle that your son purchased out of a vending machine was designed to drink. He and his friend decided to use it for another purpose, and it became dangerous, as evidenced by the fact that it knocked out his two front teeth. So both of them are responsible, not just him. He just looked the other way. Okay, now you can stand up with him. How much were your medical bills? The emergency care that day to get his teeth glued back in place it was 572 and then the estimated cost to get the other part, because all of it together comes to $4,070. And I have x-rays and pictures of the teeth that were broke out. What do you have in there now, temporaries? Yeah, they're just the, that we're glued on right now. There's teeth that were the pieces that they could glue back in with fillings, piece filled in, um, until the nerves could settle down. The dentist said he wanted to wait eight weeks before he did the root canals and the crowns mm -hmm. for the mouth to settle down. Okay. Your Honor, may I say yes. something? Yes. Okay. This started out as $800, and it's slowly gone up as the weeks have gone up. It started, It ended at three grand. <clears throat> now it's at four grand. It's not all your responsibility. It's partially your responsibility right. because your son assumed the risk of playing with him. Well, this is its tip of the iceberg. He's going to have to have crowns replaced later on in his life, too. There's no question. So, as a result of their boredom at the end of the day, which is what it was, that he should have been walking home. He should have been walking home. And it happens. I mean, you know, unfortunately, we hate when it happens to our children. Yes. The front two teeth. It's the front teeth always, and the teeth next to it. Those so. are always the teeth that go, the ones right when you smile. I know. And you have to pay to have them fixed, and that's what it is. $4,000 divided by two is $2,000. Judgment for the plaintiff in that amount. That's all. Thank you. Why well, is our excuse when you step out? Um, I guess I'm going to sign up for baseball. It was full, half full. Ryan needs to sign up, too, because he doesn't know how to catch a bottle. And that's when I pretty much blocked out. My teeth fell out of my hand. It's not there anymore. We just lost friendship because of it. It's not there no more, and it will never be again.